temperature monitoring in pharmacies. In this video I'm going to compare three different hardware solutions. The first solution is Libero CL, a PDF data logger with a calibration certificate. Since it's a one-year device, you need to exchange it every year. So every year you buy a new device coming with a fresh calibration certificate. The second option is Libero W. It's also a PDF data logger, but it has a base and a wireless temperature sensor. The sensor also comes with a calibration certificate. So in the following year, you keep the base and just replace the wireless sensor, coming with a fresh calibration certificate. The third solution is the Elpro Cloud, coming with a starter kit containing of a radio bridge and wireless temperature sensors, also coming with a calibration certificate. Here you have two options. The first one is also to work with replacement sensors, coming with fresh calibration certificates. And the second option is to work with a self-calibration wizard, taking you through the calibration yourself. One comment on the calibration date. On the calibration certificate, you find the date when the device has been produced. But much more relevant is, in fact, the date when the device has been put into operation, so when it has been started. So we often get the question, when do we need to recalibrate? So I would take this date and from there calculate 12 to 18 months, depending on your internal regulations, as the date for the new sensor or for the recalibration of the sensor. But let's look at the three options now in real life. This is the PDF data logger Libero CL. It has the alarming on the display and of course on the report, which is a handy report generated every month by connecting the device to a computer. This is the Libero W consisting of the base and the wireless sensor sitting inside the fridge or the storage facility. This device has alarming on the display and it also beeps and warns via blinking LED. Every month you connect it via USB to a computer and generate a handy min-max report and as a second page you also have a measurement row. Here we have the cloud solution, the starter kit. It's a wireless bridge connected to the internet with a LAN and powered with a cable. There is two wireless sensors here. They buffer the values and send them wireless via the bridge to the cloud. The alarming takes place inside the cloud. Let's look at that. In this example you see a dashboard with four sensors. The first one is deactivated, the second one is active and also has an active alarm running. You see this on the red color. And then there is two normal sensors. By double clicking on one of the tabs you get to the measurement row where you can choose any time period and create reports. The reports, for example, monthly report can also be sent via email automatically. On the deviation list, you get access to all the incidents and events. You get a handy overview on the reason of the deviation, the length. And you from here you can also acknowledge by leaving a comment and your password. Thanks for watching.